plans to continue to extend uh, the statues and the plaques uh, in the garden and were unable to do so because World War I came about in a significant way and then the U.S. entered the conflict. So what do they do? The Hungarians in Cleveland try to show that they're good Americans and they try and keep their garden alive somehow so they come up with this idea of putting up a flagpole that they can put the American flag up on. Not the Hungarian flag, but the American flag. So in a way, it's, it's bittersweet that it took a few years for them to do that. And nothing actually happened then again for many, many years. It's after the war and after the 1940s, all the way into the 1950s before anything else happens in the garden. The next thing that the Hungarian community is able to do is in 1950, when they put up a, a bust of Imre Modac, who was a famous writer and wrote The Tragedy of Man. So it took them from 1938 to 1950 to make the first major statuary uh, addition to the cultural garden. And then in 1954, they put up a statue to Edi or Andra Odi, who was the 20th century uh, equivalent of uh, Patufi, Shandor Patufi, a, a major poet. So in 1954, that's the year I was born. Uh, that's many years after 1938 that they actually began the process of putting statues up. And in 1956, they took the next step of putting up a plaque honoring an intellectual that had been part of the original garden effort uh, to bring it all together. He was also a historian and a writer, a poet, a lecturer, a professor, and they even called him an interpreter of life and beauty. Uh, his name was Professor Joseph Jozef Remenyi, and that was in 1956, the year of the Hungarian uh, revolution against communism. You have to remember that between 1947 and 1956, Hungary was under the deepest, darkest communism. There really wasn't much the Hungarians could do to... Uh, to really step forward because that was the period of all the communist scares. So what do you have? You have a community that's been torn asunder, first from 1938 through 1945 because of association with Nazis and the German war machine and not understanding what their identity is. And then after a very brief period of trying to go democratic under the influence of the Marshall Plan and a large wave of new people arriving out in camps in Vienna, Austria, and in other cities of Austria. 46, 47 comes about where communists take over Hungary, and the United States doesn't do anything because it can't. And then communism dominates. And here in America, everyone's worried about these new people who've come from Hungary being communists or worried about the fact that maybe they're still Nazis. So you've got this major identity crisis, to use today's term, in the community, not just the Hungarian, but the other nationality communities. The fact that they were able to do anything like this is uh, significant. And the fact that in 1956, they put up a, uh, a commemorative to Professor Remenyi, who doesn't fit the profile of what the original goals of the garden were, shows that they tried to remember one of their own rather than uh, go forward with all the plans that they had previously set.